Hi guys, I've learned again something new today, which is um, quite fancy in the sense in the sense that it's basically a complement to NixOS. If you go a look on uh, online and if you type NixOS, I got this what if, right? What if we want to develop and develop maybe an, a WordPress website and then earn our money with it or design it and then basically put it online for a client. This is all you need. How incredible is that? So services, WordPress sites and so on. That's basically what I've put now in my Nixus configuration. In some of them at the moment we're on Picard. And all it needs is a reference to this one, which is a file. And the file is here. It, I know it's not a desktop, but it's here. WordPress.nix, probably the only one we'll need. Uh, Joomla, Drupal are not there. So these guys, that's it. These two files, a reference to this file, is basically going to launch everything. And what do you know? Localhost. Let's see if we can do something. So I've built everything already. I've put everything online uh, in the sense that we have this script. So I've watched a few videos of mine. I have the script that's called Rebuild. It creates a new generation with the configuration that you want, right? I want to have BSPWM with Plasma i3 with etc. etc. and WordPress. And then you get this localhost, WPAM admin, install PHP, the guys, the guys who develop in uh, WordPress. No, this is, aha, this is actually working, is it? Yes, so NixOS, let's promote NixOS, and the username is Eric, and the password is Eric. And then you're going to log in, confirm a use of a weak password, and everybody knows my password, my, my Gmail probably, so no harm there, voila. Double check, blah, 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 discourage, and so on, you can, click this thing and it is actually done right it's in there log in I'm logging in and I can do my thing here so I develop whatever client you may have I don't have but you have you just um, do your thing with it and you update to version 6 point and so on uh, that's a tricky thing here you can update from WordPress. This did not happen on my other system. So at this point in time, there is a system update. And what we're supposed to do here, because I don't know the host name, I don't know the username. So <laughs> maybe better to wait for an update to get cracking. But anyway, you still can do updates later on on the, the live server, uh, no problem at all. So basically you're up and running. And that's the look. And that's the default one, right? Media, appearance, themes. That's the theme 2023. We can customize it better to just get something like Astrice a lot. Ah, then we still need information. So I'll, if you want to develop, right, it's a few steps more to get to figure out, hey, what actually is required here. Where did I find the information? Here. So if there are any FTP things, it should be in here somewhere, but I don't, did not see it last time I checked it. So you better ask the guys at uh, NixOS what this is, right? Or Google it. So I'll do that in my spare time later. See what the connection information is required but there you go how easy is it to have actually something up and running right up and running immediately with all the posts and the media here and appearance and the plugins and the users can we install plugins at you wow, something like this this is a big one so again with this thing so perform the web server Okay, so we need to figure this out 
and then we can actually move forward all right i hope you liked the video and uh, have a look at it if you're a wordpress developer why not